In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 places to visit in Paris, France. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Planning your first visit to Paris? If so, start with these top 10 attractions and legendary sightseeing sites. These are the historical, cultural, and famous places everyone associated with Paris, the top things to see in Paris for many visitors. Don't feel you need to see all of them in one visit, especially when are here for just a few days. Several, such as the rising Eiffel Tower, the lovely Seine River, the monumental Arc de Triomphe, and even the sparkling white Sacré Cœur located high on a hilltop, are part of the Paris skyline and easy to observe from many areas in the city, whether or not you actually visit. Here are top 10 places to visit in Paris, France. So let's start. Number 10. Pontéon. The Pontéon is the national mausoleum of France's finest citizens, built to match St. Peter's Basilica in Rome and St. Paul's Cathedral in London. The architect Jacques Germain Soufflot, 171380 was commissioned by King Louis XV to build a new church on the site of the wrecked Abbey of saint genevieve in 1756, and the church was finished in 1790. The Pontéon's architecture contrasts sharply with the Louis XV style's frivolous Rococo, instead presenting a simpler and more solemn neoclassical design. The inscription on the facade of the Pontéon reads, O Grandsome la Reconnaissance Patrie, to the Grandsome Reconnaissance Patrie, the Pontéon is the national mausoleum of France's finest citizens, built to match St. Peter's Basilica in Rome and St. Paul's Cathedral in London. The architect Jacques Germain Soufflot, 171380 was commissioned by King Louis XV to build a new church on the site of the wrecked Abbey of saint genevieve in 1756, and the church was finished in 1790. Number 9. Musical Concerts at Saint-Chapelle Saint-Chapelle is a rare jewel among medieval houses of worship and unquestionably one of Paris' most beautiful cathedrals. The beautiful 13th-century chapel is located on the Ile de la Cité, just a few blocks, approximately a 10-minute walk, from Notre Dame Cathedral. From 1242 to 1248, King Louis IX, St. Louis, commissioned this masterpiece of rayonment Gothic architecture to store the priceless treasures he had obtained from the Byzantine Emperor. A relic of the crown of thorns is displayed on the altar. Saint-Chapelle is a rare jewel among medieval houses of worship and unquestionably one of Paris' most beautiful cathedrals. The beautiful 13th-century chapel is located on the Ile de la Cité, just a few blocks, approximately a 10-minute walk, from Notre Dame Cathedral. Number 8. Seine River Cruises One of the greatest ways to take in the allure of Paris is to take a boat ride along the Seine River. Tourists can take a Seine River cruise to explore the attractions from a fresh perspective. From a riverboat, the Seine River Bridges, Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Louvre Museum are breathtaking. While a daytime boat allows travelers to view the splendor of landmarks bathed in sunlight, an evening cruise is the most romantic experience. The city's landmarks are illuminated after sunset, creating a unique effect that makes the city seem more mystical. Number 7. Place de la Concorde This spectacular octagonal square, designed by King Louis XV's architect in 1772, was the center of 18th-century Paris. The executions of Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette, among other guillotine victims, took place in the Place de la Concorde. Napoleon's triumphal path passed across the square. The Place de la Concorde is one of the most attractive squares in the city, with imposing size and a spectacular view of the city's attractions. The Arc de Triomphe can be seen in one direction and the Louvre in the other, while the Eiffel Tower can be seen in the distance. An Egyptian, obelisk, donated to Charles X by the Viceroy of Egypt, stands in the center. There is a Ferris wheel here during the summer. Number 6. Palais Garnier The Palais Garnier Opera House was commissioned by Napoleon III in 1860 and designed by Charles Garnier in an opulent Baroque style. From 1862 through 1875, Garnier dedicated himself to the project non-stop. Today, this eye-catching monument serves as a reminder of Napoleon's imperial rule. Poetry, music, idol, recitation, song, drama, and dance are among the allegorical figures shown on the facade's eight sculptures. The loggia features busts of famous composers such as Rossini, Beethoven, and Mozart, 
while the cupola is topped by an Apollo statue with allegorical figures of poetry and music. Number 5. Musée d'Orsay In the restored Gare d'Orsay, the Musée d'Orsay houses a magnificent collection of 19th and 20th century art, produced between 1848 and 1914. The Universal Exhibition of 1900 prompted the construction of this Belle Epoque railway station. The museum's expansive galleries house some of the world's most cherished masterpieces. The Orsay Museum is one of the top venues in Paris to visit if you want to learn about Impressionist art. The diverse collection of paintings delights visitors, from canvases that display Monet's soft pastel-hued brushstrokes to Gauguin's wild, vivid settings. The collection includes works by all of Impressionism's masters. Impressionist geniuses Edgar Degas, Edward Manet, Claude Monet, and Auguste Renoir are among the painters shown, as are post-Impressionists Pierre Bonnard, Paul Cezanne, and Vincent van Gogh, the Pointillists, Georges Seurat, Paul Signac, and Bohemian artists such as Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec. In the restored Gare d'Orsay, the Musée d'Orsay houses a magnificent collection of 19th and 20th century art, produced between 1848 and 1914. The Universal Exhibition of 1900 prompted the construction of this Belle Epoque railway station. Number 4, Avenue des Champs-Élysées. Until André Le Notre planted it in the 17th century, the most colossal boulevard in Paris was a dismal tract of marshes. The boulevard's beautiful structures were created by Baron Osman, a Parisian city designer, a century later. The Champs-Élysées are split into two sections, with the Rhone-Point des Champs-Élysées serving as the crossroads. The Jardin des Champs-Élysées and the Petit Palais Fine Arts Museum are located on the lower half of the Champs-Élysées, which runs parallel to the Place de la Concorde. Luxury boutiques, hotels, restaurants, cafes, theaters, and theaters line the upper section, which extends to the Arc de Triomphe. This lively location attracts a large number of tourists and serves as a meeting point for Parisians. Number 3. Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris. Notre Dame is located on the Ile de la Cité, adjacent to the Latin Quarter, in the center of Paris. The Ile de la Cité, an island in the Seine River, is the historical and geographical heart of Paris. The Romans erected the Gallo-Roman city of Lutetia on this little strip of land, and the kings of France lived here from the 6th through the 14th centuries. King Louis IX, St. Louis, and Bishop Maurice de Sully founded the Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris in 1163, and it took more than 150 years to complete. The cathedral was built in the early Gothic style at first, but later extensions, the west front and nave, demonstrate the shift to the high Gothic style. This magnificent medieval structure is a Gothic architectural achievement. With its abundance of statues and gargoyles, the ornately decorated front gives a magnificent appearance, while complex flying buttresses offer structural support for the massive structure. Number 2. Musée du Louvre The Louvre is the most important of Paris' major museums, and it was formerly the abode of France's rulers. The Pyramid du Louvre, a glass pyramid designed by Aiyo Ming Pei in 1917, is where visitors approach the museum from the courtyard of the palace. Thousands of works of art, many of which are considered masterpieces, are on display at the Musée du Louvre, ranging from antiquities to European paintings from the 15th to 19th centuries. It is impossible to view everything in one visit, but visitors can concentrate on a specific gallery, such as classical sculpture, Italian Renaissance art, or 17th century French paintings, or take a self-guided tour to see the highlights of the Louvre Museum. The Mona Lisa, also known as La Gioconda or La Gioconda in French, was painted by Leonardo da Vinci between 1503 and 1505. Many visitors rush through the museum only to view this one artwork, but even if time is short, there are many more must-see works of art to admire. Number 1. Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower, La Tour Eiffel, is the most visited tourist attraction in the world and ranks high on the list of places to see in France. It's hard to think that when the edifice was originally displayed, it was condemned as a monstrosity. Alexander Gustave Eiffel constructed the renowned tower for the 1889 Paris Exhibition, which commemorated the French Revolution's centennial. The tower is made up of 18,000 iron parts that weigh over 10,000 tons and are fastened together by 2.5 million rivets. 
This unique structure is now regarded as a brilliant architectural achievement and the most iconic site in Paris. The tower was the world's highest skyscraper until the Empire State Building was built in New York City, reaching a height of 324 meters. The Eiffel Tower is a once-in-a-lifetime experience for first-time visitors. Many people are taken aback when they see the four gigantic pillars that support this 10,100-ton monument as they arrive at the Esplanade, where the information desk is located. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.